this video, we're going to take a few moments to go over the normal flatten tool in 3D Coat. It does not have a direct equivalent in Photoshop, and that's because it's intended to work in the 3D viewport. With that being said, it's the rough equivalent to the flatten brush that you have here in surface mode whenever you're working in the Sculpt workspace, or in the Tweak room, you have a flatten brush here as well. So these two workspaces actually displace geometry, but the normal flatten tool, as the name implies, is just applying that type of effect to the normal map. So it just gives the mere appearance or the illusion of actually flattening the surface. If I switch to my normal map here, you can see as I brush, it's going to apply that effect or that stroke to my normal map. So I'll go ahead and choose this tool and I'm going to choose a brush alpha that's roughly equivalent to what I have in the e-panel. It's pretty sharp, maybe a little bit too much. So using a softer brush alpha might be the way to go. And so it looks like it's actually created some displacement, but it has not. I'm going to turn off symmetry for the moment. And you can see in the tool options panel, you have a couple different normal sourcing points. First click point or the current position. So the first click point is essentially going to try and carve a straight line from your first point that you start to the end of your brush stroke. Okay, maybe that's not what you want, so you switch to current position and it's going to try and flatten along your stroke and you're going to try and compensate a little bit to accommodate the curvature or the contours of your model, as you can see here. So let me undo. And as I mentioned in other videos, you can actually see live displacement in a viewport because 3D Coat does have displacement capability uh, when you're working in per pixel painting mode. And by default, you're working with a displacement map when you're in micro vertex mode. So I'm in per pixel painting mode. And whatever I paint on the normal map, if I choose to show the displaced mesh, now 3D Coat is actually going to displace it, not just show the effect on the normal map. And sometimes your subdivision level will dictate just how well this stroke looks. Okay, so let me reduce that down a little bit. And if I look at it from a, an angle, you can see it indeed did carve into the surface. And you can also see how 3D Coat is actually showing the subdivided version beneath this low poly mesh. So it's just like having a subdivision modifier applied in your standard 3D application. Okay, so let me undo a few times and try to show a little bit more detailed example. I'm going to hide the face mask and I'll choose the spline stroke draw mode from the e-panel. I'm going to bring up a shape that I previously created. I'm going to go to the Tool Options panel, choose Current Position, Make Planar. 3D Coat is actually going to try and compensate, or it's going to try and build up along your stroke where it thinks it needs to in order to create a nice flattened surface. So let me choose a higher value of Plane Extrusion. So I'll hit Enter. escape to drop that spline and you can see how it builds up in areas where it doesn't have enough surface to make a nice flattened stroke so that may be what you want maybe not I'll undo and this time I'll choose cutoff and I'll go into the negative let's try negative 1.5 hit the enter key Let me hit escape and I'll also hit the W key to turn off the wireframe and it basically just trimmed that surface area along the spline. The fill mode will do just as the name implies. It's going to fill any holes or divots that may be in the surface. And so that will conclude this look at the normal flatten tool in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.